What's up guys, I'm Juan the Don, and this is another Humidor Tour. So I've seen and noticed that my Humidor Tour videos are always my, my most viewed ones, and it's probably because a lot of people just really like to see um, like a collection of cigars, right? So I figured I might as well do another one because it's been a kind of a while, and this is more so uh, to show off my new humidor that I, like a real humidor because all of my passes have been like plastic containers and like tubs and stuff like that, right? I actually do have my very first one right here, right? So I went from having this to having a really nice full-fledged um, like wine ago, right? So it's kind of a nice thing and I just kind of want to show you guys what I have and like the wine and door right gun It's really been kind of a cool thing to be able to go from something like this like very very simple and starter right to something That's like actually very official right it just kind of feels cool So I figured I'd make a video and show you guys my little cigar collection kind of the the new humidor, right? So uh, let's just go ahead and show you guys what I got All right guys, so right here is the bar area where we do most of our uh, you know drinking We got the mini fridge and then we got the wine door right on top And I really like that this stainless steel kind of matches the mini fridge uh, stainless steel But it just it looks really nice here in this little area kind of tucked away But still being able to keep all my cigars really nice and you can see right here I keep it at 69 degrees and I can go up or down if I want to but I like to keep it at 69 degrees then right here is a light button, but the light in there isn't very great. It just kind of is a blue light and nothing too special, right? But as we go and open it up, that's where the magic begins. And I do have I do have this one in here, but it's not great. Most analog um, hygrometers aren't usually the best, but I will say this one isn't too bad. I believe it's reading around 70-ish. Yeah, see, it's, it's reading fairly close to what it actually is, but I, I like to keep my digital one in here anyway, just because I know that this one's a lot more reliable, but... Um, let's just go ahead and show you guys what I have. So I have um, these four trays right here, and then we have an actual drawer where the hygrometer is in, right? So let's go ahead and start off with the very first tray on top. And this right here is just cigars that my father-in-law likes to smoke. So he's a very simple guy. This is all just factory smokes in the Toro size. Um, very, very simple guy. He just, This is what he likes, so that's what he smokes. So just keep all of his cigars right up there. Then right here we have a few interesting little cigars. So right here I have a Alpha Diffuser, which um, I just really like the Alpha. The whole Alpha collection is just really, really nice. Um, then we have the CAO V19. This is one of their new ones. It's from the Flathead line. Um, really, really nice cigar. We got this PDR um, Small Batch Reserve in Maduro, which I haven't had one of these, but it's been sitting here for a while, so I'm excited to smoke that one. Now right here we have the Four Kicks Limited Edition 2019, which I'm very excited to smoke one of these. Probably do a review on it pretty soon. Right here we got the Partagas 1898, I believe, or where does it say what it is? 1848, there we go. Partagas 1848, I don't remember, I had two of these, so I'd probably definitely smoke them, but I do not remember what it's like. So I probably will be doing a review on that one, uh, maybe not soon, but eventually. Right here we have a, and it does have a picture of a weed leaf on it, but this is not weed. This is a CBD cigar. I picked it up at my local lounge just to kind of see. It was just kind of interesting, so I decided to pick it up. It's been sitting here for a little while. I don't know when I'm going to smoke it, but I will. And then we got a Roma Craft Crow Magnin Bellicoso. Really, really nice cigar right there. And then we have this little interesting, uh, this is a Culebra, I believe. So it's three cigarillos rolled into like a... A helix sort of thing they're all like braided really interesting when i picked that up the guy at the shop told me that they're pretty young so to let it age for a few months it's been sitting there for maybe a month now maybe when it hits like three months i'll whip that out and smoke it do a review maybe on it and right here i have a few more things we got this las calaveras from crown heads and crown heads just makes amazing cigars and i do have a 69 percent boveda in every single uh layer and then we got right here, let's see, this Punch Punch Habano, which was sent to me by, um, and this one as well, this Avo, and then the Roma Craft, and there was a few others that were sent to me by um, Aaron from the Straight Cup Podcast, which if you haven't checked it out, if you're looking for a new podcast, that is definitely a good one to check out. But he sent me this Punch Punch uh, Habano, or just Punch Habano, I'm not sure exactly what you call it, Punch Signature Habano Torpedo. And we got this Avo South America Ritmo. 
And then we've got a few flatheads. We got this flathead uh, steel horse right here. Really, really nice. The flathead series is really, really amazing. And this one, as you can see, is a very flathead, which is really, really interesting. But I haven't smoked this one yet, but I know the other few flatheads that I've had are really, really amazing. And we have this Camacho Triple Maduro, which I've been really excited and looking forward to smoking. I just uh, am looking for the right time to smoke this one. I know it is a lot more of a, like a heavy body, like full body type of cigar. So I'm waiting for a good day to um, smoke that without getting sick. And we got right here the Flathead 660. And this thing is amazing. I talk about this all the time. If you haven't had a Flathead 660, go out and buy one. These things are great. And then we have another flathead. This is the 554, which is another fantastic cigar. Like I said, the flatheads are just typically really, really great. And they have a lot of different um, flathead ones, but all the ones that I've tried are really amazing. And right here we have the CAO Zocalo, which is their, I believe last year's um, limited edition for Cinco de Mayo. So this is uh, like a Mexican San Andres, I believe. Um, I've been looking for a good day to smoke that one. I might save it for next year for Cinco de Mayo. Um, just to kind of have a really nice age on it. I think that'd be really cool. We got a few AJ Fernandez. And I will say last week I had like five AJ Fernandez here, but they're so great. And I smoke these all the time. But this one right here is the San Latano Requiem. And AJ Fernandez just makes fantastic cigars. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you probably know that AJ Fernandez is just amazing. And they've yet to disappoint me with any cigars. And right here we have the New World TAA, which is the Tobacco Association of America. And this is their contribution to it. So I'm looking forward to smoking this one because, I mean, the regular New World is amazing. So I'm sure this one will be just as good. And then right here we got another Boveda and a bunch of Tatuaje. So let's start over here. I have this Casa Cuevas Edición Limitada. Uh, this is their like uh, Lancero or their Lonsdale or whatever you call it. But I had, I did a review on the Habano one, but I still have this one. I'm just looking for a good day to smoke that one because um, honestly, I just really like the Habano more than the Maduro. But that being said, the Casa Cuevas just doesn't make bad cigars anyway. So the Maduro is still really, really great. I'm just looking for a good day to smoke that one. And then all of this right here are all tatuajes and this one too. So... Here we have the Tatuaje Reserva, and none of these have, I, ha oh, so I have no idea, these were sent to me by Custody Cigars, so big shout out to him, but I have no idea what any of these really are, they don't have any like labels on them to say exactly the name or the size or anything like that, right, but I'm just going off of the band, so if it doesn't say anything on the band, then I have no idea what it is, but right here it says Tatuaje Reserva Broadleaf, and then we have this Tatuaje, oh this one has a label, Havana 6 Noblaze 550. So that's pretty cool. And right here we have this Tatuaje. Uh, this one. And again, I have no idea anything about Tatuaje. I've only smoked a few. And right here we have this Tattoo Tatuaje 10 Miami. Which, if it's anything like the regular Tattoo, which was freaking amazing, then I'm hoping this one will be good. And this is kind of a perfecto size. You can see it's a little bit tapered on um, both sides. It's kind of like goes thin to fat to thin again and then we got this novitas hibaro tatuaje orange orange band and here we have a tatuaje conjonu 2012 and then we have this tatuaje tatuaje and again i'm sorry i have no idea what any of these are i'd have to look them up individually and by just looking up Tatuaje and trying to match these to the picture. This one's the Tatuaje Black Corona Gorda. And then we have a Tatuaje Kojonu 2012 again. So same thing as that one, but this one actually, which is kind of different, this, this one has a black second band and this one has a gold one. I'm not sure if that means they're different or if it's just a design thing, but that's that. And right here I have a Tatuaje Kappa Especial, which that means special cap, or I'm not sure if cape or exactly what. I'm not sure which uh, type of Spanish language that is. And right here we have 601. Uh, this is the Habano in a Churchill. And then I have the 601 Oscuro in a Robusto. And this is kind of a box pressed one. 
or this is the Maduro, I mean. But these are made by Espinosa, and I've heard nothing but good things. I've never tried the Espinosa or uh, 601s. The only Espinosa I've ever had is a Laranja, and that was a really great cigar. So I'm excited to smoke those. And then in the final drawer, this is where I keep kind of like more special stuff, right? And also a bunch of uh, these alphas just because they're really great. And I have no more room up here to put them, so I just want to throw them in here. But this, these all right here are like special cigars, right? So I have all my Cubans right here. So right here, let's start with this Monte Cristo Lina 1935 Maltese. And I did do a review on this, and it was a really good cigar. And these are authentic Cubans sent to me by Custody Cigars. So again, huge shout out to him. Super, super cool. And right here. I have two um, Bolivar Belicosos, which I hear these are pretty good. So I'm excited to try these ones out. And then right here, I have two Oya de Monterrey's Habana Epicure Especial, which again, I hear these are pretty good. So I'm excited to try these out. And right here, I have a, what is this? A Alec Bradley Fine and Rare. So you can see right there, these are really, really neat. It tells you the roll date, the weekly production, the supervisor release date, the roller, the approved by, like it just gives you all the little details. And these are a really, really cool cigar. And I'm really excited to smoke this one and see um, how it is. And then this one right here is a Lenox by LFD, which I believe won Cigar of the Year two or three years ago. I, I can't remember, or even if it did win, but I know that this one is like super like, been high regard to a lot of people and i'm really excited to smoke this one and this is another one sent to me by aaron from the straight cut so again huge shout out to him and then probably the most rare cigar in my whole collection it's probably the rarest cigar i think i've ever even seen this is a casa cuevas maduro but it was blended by none other than the cigar mechanic himself brandon wells when he went down to the casa cuevas factory he had them roll a few cigars in a blend that he designed right and it's just it's just a really cool thing. Me and him are really good friends. And he gave me one of these for my birthday. And this is like a super rare cigar. Like you're not going to get one of these unless you're, I mean, Brandon or one of his really close friends, right? But this is a really, really cool cigar. And I'm really excited to smoke this. But I just need like a super special occasion. Because like I said, this is like a super rare. I think he said there's only like 20 that he made. So this is a super cool, super rare cigar. But yeah, so that is my collection. Um, like again, it's just something really simple and it is really really nice it keeps a really nice um all my cigars really good temperature and good humidity and especially here in arizona where it gets really really hot in the summers and then um it starts to cool down later it's really important to keep your cigars in a good temperature if you don't want any cigar beetles or if you want to make sure all your cigars smoke really well it's just a really nice thing to have so you know that is my humidor tour but there you go guys there's my humidor tour a little update type of video i know this is uh just kind of a, a popular thing in the cigar community for people to watch like humidor tour videos. It definitely are the most popular videos on my channel. So hopefully this one does well, but um, thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, you just got a, a nice little look at all the cigars I have. So if you want to recommend any cigars that I review, um, then go ahead and do that. You know, I like to read through all the comments and reply to everyone that I can, but as always guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you guys in the next one.